fingerprint from one of the envelopes containing an IED that had been sent to Congresswoman Maxine Waters. We have confirmed this fingerprint is that of Cesar Sayoc. President Trump at a rally in Charlotte. These terrorist actions must be prosecuted and punished to the fullest extent of the law. We all know that. You're listening to USA Radio News. Hey, I'm Brant. So there's this guy named Jordan. He's a healthy guy. He's a dad of six, and he works as a guide in Alaska. And he goes to the doctor, true story, he goes to the doctor, and he's diagnosed with cancer stage four. And here's the thing. He had switched earlier from medical insurance to MediShare, where Christians share each other's medical bills. So the question for Jordan and his wife, Jenny, was, is this actually going to work? Our medical bills? exceeded $160,000. MediShare members shared all our bills. And it was about more than just the money, too. This is a real community. MediShare is, is a family, a group of people that stick with you through the hardest times of your life. I just don't know how I could have done it without MediShare. It's so worth looking into. There's a reason this is growing so fast. So if you want to find out more, here is a number for you. 855-90-PSALM. That's 855-90-PSALM. Vice President Mike Pence is visiting the Florida Panhandle talking to victims of Hurricane Michael. USA Radio's Robin Walensky has the story. Vice President Mike Pence visiting Panama City, Florida, talking to people about rebuilding their homes and businesses in the aftermath of Hurricane Michael. We're with you. We're going to stay with all of the families of this region impacted by Hurricane Michael until we rebuild bigger and better than ever before and working very closely with Governor Scott. For USA Radio News, I'm Robin Walensky. Former President Barack Obama is back on the campaign trail talking about President Trump as he was stumping for Democrats in Milwaukee. I've got to believe that, that there's certain things that...
888-825-4765 and let us deal with John at GardenAmerica.com. And if you're watching us on Facebook Live, you can also post your questions and comments right there on our page during the broadcast. Now, here's Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, and Tiger Palafox on the Garden America Radio and Media Network. It is another Saturday morning and a happy weekend to you. We are back. It is up six minutes after the hour. Brian Maine along with John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox here. Garden America for your Saturday morning weekend. Facebook Live, of course. Thank you for those early people who, uh, who view us at uh, six minutes after the hour. Those that join us as the show continues, you can uh, reach us at john at gardenamerica.com. And, of course, uh, questions, comments right there on Facebook Live. Also, uh, the telephone. You want to pick up the phone, give us a call at 855-424-9825. Our studio coordinator and producer, Zach, will get you on the air. It is a big weekend. Got a great show lined up today. Of course, when have you heard somebody say we've got a terrible show lined up? Of course, they're all great shows. <laughs> I and, think we've said that before, yeah, actually. <laughs> we have, yeah. I'm not sure about today's show. It's going to be a, a little iffy. Now, uh, Tiger, you you were the last one to arrive this morning. And as you came into the building, you were peeking into John's car, which looked a little weird. What? what He's smuggling stuff. What does he have He's in his car? He's smuggling stuff. Is he really? Yeah. I, what well, did you see? My, my training... As a native San Diegan, seeing smuggling vehicles coming across different areas of San Diego, I noticed that it was riding a bit low and that he had the windows completely blacked out. No, just kidding. Um, they might have been fogged over. Yeah, they, they might have been fogged over. Right. But, um, you know, he had all these roses, 65 roses in yeah. the back of a – is it a – what do you what do you drive? It's a little Corolla, right? Toyota, Corolla? No, Toyota. Uh, Camry? Camry. Oh, Camry. Camry. Yeah. So the whole car's sitting low, Six, 65 <laughs> roses. Yeah. I was. But this is a big weekend. I was in shock on how many you fit oh. in there, and they look amazing. There are some beautiful ones. For this time ones. of in, year. There's some in bloom. The yep. foliage looks great. There was one in, you, you know, it's just a mess, not a mess. It's a cluster of foliage in there. But one of them, the foliage looked like a, you know what a coffee berry bush is? Yeah. Yeah, native shrub. It's got kind of a deep foliage with red tinge to the tips and the branching and stuff. So roost, right? Yeah. Yeah. And one of them looked like that. I'm like, what is that rose? Is he trying to sell native plants in there along with his roses? But No, only roses. In yeah, there. just a good mix. There's one rose in there. Have we talked about the fact that this is for the auction tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> well, not today, but... Let's dive into that, John. Big we, weekend. We can, yeah. Uh, the 18th annual Save the Roses auction is tomorrow in San Diego at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Hotel Circle. And there's no charge to attend. Uh, it starts, I think the silent auction starts at 9 and the live arc auction starts at 1.30. 1.30 to 3.30. Two hours of me on stage. Oh, I know, that's going to be hours. tiring wow. for a lot of people. Trust me. Uh, but it'll be fun. We've got a lot of special things going on in the live auction this year. We're auctioning, auctioning off the Jerry Mathers Rose for the very first time. Jerry's going to be there with and us tomorrow. Jerry's going to be there. He'll be up on stage with you. Yeah, it's going to be fun. If you win his rose, you can take a picture uh, of the rose with him. I've got a feeling. He and his wife. I've got a feeling that if you want a picture with him, he'll be very happy to do so. Yeah, he's, I think he, so. He's a nice he's guy. He's that kind of guy. Really great guy. Right. And then... Uh, Sharon Asakawa's daughter, Tasha, is flying in from France for the auction tomorrow because we're going to uh, do something similar to what they do in Europe when there's a new rose. They christen the rose mm -hmm. and name it, and uh, they drink a bottle of champagne. I did get the champagne, but I don't think we'll open it there. Well, that's like I, a ship. When they launch a ship, they break the bottle yeah, of champagne. Yeah. Now, are we going to break it over her head? No, okay. we're going to hand it to her. Okay. 
I just want to make sure I understand what's going on. So that's why Tiger's going to be there is to hold you back when you get out of control. <laughs> Tiger's coordinating. He's the coordinator tomorrow. Coordinating, so, yeah. So that ro- that new rose is called Emiko, named yeah. after Sharon's granddaughter. So brand new rose being unveiled tomorrow. Right. But yet there's another one. There is? A new rose. Isn't there another one uh, that you're unveiling tomorrow? Uh, I, I thought I, there was one more. Kendall Marie? Yes. That's named your, after my granddaughter. Your granddaughter. Right. And that'll be there. And there's other roses being offered for the very first time in history. Uh, one is called Tom Cuthbertson. And Tom Tom Cuthbertson was, um, he wrote books on bicycles and lived up in the Bay Area. And he picked this rose to be named after him. I think he was dying of some type of cancer. Mm-hmm. So th- that'll be cool. There'll be a lot of really cool roses there. And for people who are thinking, well, I'd like to have a, uh, a rose in my garden, maybe, but I don't know if I can afford it going to an auction. You Last can, year yeah. at the auction, the roses went from three dollars all the way up to two hundred and twenty. So, uh, there's something for every budget. Yeah, and it, if you want to get fun. an idea, you, I went on the uh, the website this morning, California Coastal Rose Society, and mm-hmm. there's a whole list of of the roses in the silent auction and the audible auction as well. In fact, you can go back all the way to the beginning and see all the roses over the years. If you want to see that list, go to ccrsauction.com. Right. CCRS stands for California Coastal Rose Society. So ccrsauction.com. You know what's funny? Because they also, they they have uh, different categories on the website. And then it says um, uh, 2009 auction. And so I clicked it, and it's it's us on stage at the old Carlsbad uh, Town hall. Oh, wow, that was a long time ago. But they don't have any other videos posted since then. Nobody's taken any. Nobody's taken any. Uh, so, Maybe you know, Dana could take some tomorrow. Yeah, I think that'd be, a, that'd be a good idea. She'll help out along with Tiger. And it's like you said, this is going to be, we're expecting, what, 300 people or so? Yeah, pretty close to 300 people. And usually we have maybe, what, 35, 40 people? Five, six. Six, whatever. <laughs> so this is going to be big. Uh, those of you uh, in San Diego listening to us on AM 1240, hope you can make it. Crown Plaza Hotel downtown. In the uh, Hanalei room, right? Right, and again, there's no charge. Uh, the The uh, National Convention of the American Rose Society is going on at the same time. That's why so many people this year. Right, and there is a rose show there, and there is a charge to go to the rose show. That's $5. But not for the auction tomorrow. But not tomorrow. for the auction. No charge at all for the auction. So Crown Plaza Hotel, Hanalei room. Uh, uh, tomorrow, and again, we kick off the uh, live auction at one thirty. but I think it opens up, what, at 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock for the silent auction. And if you can't be there all day, at least come for the live auction sure. and hear. You know, we have a professional auctioneer. Yeah. <laughs> Brian does really I, a good job. I guess because I get paid. He really does a good job. Considered professional. Thank you, John. Yeah. Tiger, let's mark that for a promo. Perfect. He Got said it. something good from about me. Got it. Cut. All right. I've been practicing. Hey, the one thing <laughs> the one well. thing I wanted to mention for people also that are thinking about coming, and even if you know, you had mentioned there's a rose for everyone. But you had mentioned this. Well, there's only 260, so not everyone. Almost. (laughs) But you had mentioned this to Brian that every that's everyone that anyone in the Rose community is going to be there. All the movers and shakers. And so, Rose Dumb are there. If you're looking for information, if if you have questions, if you're if you're just a novice and you want to start off, what a great place to get quality good knowledge right. about what you're going to do or what you want to do well said yeah because you know i mean you could be there and you can ask them hey i want to do this with this rose they can give you a list of roses to choose from what's going to do well how to take care of it all of that because these people the reason why they get together as a group is they love to talk about their passion and its roses and they love to share that knowledge mm-hmm. with other people you sometimes people get intimidated by oh you know they know there's a lot of people that know a lot but but there's also a lot of people that are there just because they love roses and they really don't know sure anything but they want to learn so ask away but yeah. you can go to the rose show take notes on roses you like i yeah. mean they'll you know some of the the best exhibitors in the country are showing roses at the show so you take a pencil and paper and go through and was that list ro- of roses for the live auction john uh necessarily in order to be auctioned off or were they alphabetized the alphabet- live yeah. Live auction, it was in order, except Sharon mentioned that she may have to leave early to go see Bruce. Mm-hmm. And if she does, we will move hers up. Okay. And we'll auction Emiko a little I, earlier. I Otherwise, saw, it is in order. I thought I saw Abracadabra right off the bat. 
Yeah, but it's an abracadabra you've never seen. Okay, beautiful. This is a the original abracadabra, which is one of my favorite plants. Okay. Really like it, the Bill Warner abracadabra. Large, large plant too that's being offered. Well, there you go. It's going to be fun. All right, let's do the quote of the week. Uh, that'll take us pretty close to uh, break time. Come back with our guest as we talk about uh, winter planning, so on and so forth. Uh, John, great quote this week. I like it. Let's uh, lay it out there for our viewers and listeners. And the quote's from David Hobson, and he said, I grow plants for many reasons, to please my eye or to please my soul, to challenge the elements or to challenge my patience, for novelty or for nostalgia, but mostly for the joy of seeing them grow. All those things are true. Yep. That's beautiful. Okay, we are going to go into our break, and again, our guest is standing by. Our guest this morning, uh, Daniel, and uh, his last name again, Tiger? Let's say it Shimano. Right. Shimano. That's right. Daniel Shimano is going to be with us after the break. We thank you so much for tuning in. Those of you on Facebook Live, thank you so much. Questions, comments on Facebook. Also, John at GardenAmerica.com. You can call us at 855-424-9825 on this Saturday morning. Brian Maine, Tiger Palafox, John Bagnasco coming right back. Everything is coming up roses in San Diego from October 25th to 29th. Lance Walheim here, and I'm honored to be the keynote speaker at the National Convention of the American Rose Society. BioAdvance and Heirloom Roses will be co-sponsoring the 18th annual Save the Roses auction, along with the rose show, speakers, and festivities of the American Rose Society. So join me at the San Diego Crown Plaza Hotel and Convention Center, and go to GardenAmerica.com and check the homepage for links to registration and event schedule. This this is Joe Lample from Growing a Greener World. With the environment in mind, I recommend Melorganite Organic Nitrogen Fertilizer for all your growing needs. From plants to people, active growth requires energy, nutrients, and a balanced diet. Nutrient-rich Melorganite feeds the soil and plants for up to three months. The organic nitrogen is slow release and won't burn plants even during hot, dry weather. Trust the fertilizer proven effective for 90 years. Melorganite, for better results naturally. Visit Melorganite.com for a garden center near you. Being a business owner or entrepreneur can feel lonely. Unless your friends have walked the same path, they just don't understand your passion. How many times have you been asked, when are you going to get a real job? And when you finally do make it big, all of a sudden the doubters tell you they always knew you would. Does this sound familiar? You see, at BizBod, we understand the road you're on because we're on the same path. That's why we created a club just for you. Meet other people on the same path you're on and get content that will help you grow your business. All for only $49.95 a year. And if you join today, you can get your first 30 days free with promo code radio. This is a limited time offer, so try it for free. And who knows, you might be able to help other members. Simply go to bizbod.com and enter promo code radio. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-521-9579 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-521-9579 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-521-9579. That's 1-800-521-9579. Again, 1-800-521-9579. Greece is cheap. But the airfare costs a fortune. Paris? Not much closer. And again, airfare... What about Puerto Vallarta? Let's face it, flying anywhere is just too expensive. Wait, what's this? Low-cost airlines. With one call to low-cost airlines, you'll drastically slash your travel costs. We're talking insanely low airline prices to any of your favorite destinations. Where would you like to go? London, Rome, Costa Rica, Australia? Wow, that's cheap. So why wait? Call now to learn... 
how crazy cheap it is to fly anywhere in the U.S. or international. Our prices are so low, we can't publish them. The only way to get them is to call to instantly hear the most amazing best deals on airline travel. It's that easy. So call now and start packing. 800-217-5107. 800-217-5107. That's 800-217-5107. This is BizTalk Radio, America's home for business talk. Online at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. Thank you so much for being right there as uh, we have a good time. And uh, there goes my phone again. I get these crank phone calls all the time. Yeah. And it's people, it's either recorded messages or somebody that wants money. And this is from a Miss Nancy, so I'll make sure that I turn this down. <laughs> yeah, this, anybody know a Miss Nancy? I was going to say, this has a name. Yeah, this has a name on it. Miss Nancy, so we'll just turn that sucker right off and then. Uh, What's Miss Nancy? Then I can forget later on to turn my phone back on. Could be my sister calling you. I don't think so. You don't think Nancy's calling? I don't think so. All right. All right, 22 minutes after the hour. We got all business out of the way. I think so. It is time to bring on our guest, Tiger. Yeah, so this weekend we have our wonderful guest. He's been with us before, Daniel Shimino with Fertilone VPG Natural Guard Products. Right. Um, you know, great resource of information when it comes to fertilizers, pest control, disease control, um, whatever may have you plaguing your plants. But this weekend, we're going to be talking as we get into these colder months about the people that are bringing in those plants for the winter on certain things that you need to take into consideration, maybe bugs that are going to attack them while they're inside and how to treat them, um, and you know, just overall care for your indoor plants. Daniel, good morning. Hey, good morning, fellas. So you are in Colorado, correct? That's correct. Is is it getting cold there now? Oh boy, we've actually already had our first snow uh, a oh few boy. weeks ago. We had a good couple of inches, so uh, we're uh, we're jumping in quick. Oh. Uh, October, that's a little early, isn't it, uh, Daniel? <laughs> Just a tad. It, it sure it sure is. Well, especially for in Denver, you know, the mountains start getting it about a month before uh, in town. But uh, yeah, it's a little early for us to get four inches of snow. Wow, and you know when. Yeah. When you guys get these early winter frost, snows, storms that come through, um, I mean, are people prepared for it? Is pe are people in Colorado kind of accustomed to this, or is this kind of uh, is oh, this they a big know deal better. For them? They know better. <laughs> oh yeah. Sometimes it can catch you off guard because we'll have a nice, beautiful, sunny day in the 80s, and the next day we'll drop down into the 20s. So you do have to watch the uh, the, the forecast. But most people are prepared to bring, you know, plants in and out. You kind of play that game back and forth of uh, putting them out in your backyard when they've got sunshine, but then packing them in your garage when uh, when the snow comes. So. You know, Daniel, unlike us that live here in uh, California, maybe some of the warmer climates, Arizona, Texas, Florida, for the most part, we don't need to bring our plants inside. But in cases like Colorado and co some of the colder climates, that is something that has to be done every year. Tiger mentioned beforehand some of the things you have to look out for, like if you're bringing a plant from the outside to the inside, there's bugs, there's things. What should people be aware of, and is there any kind of a template or format to do that, depending upon what kind of plants you have? I always start to check my plants, uh, you know, really look at them close a month or so before I know I'm going to need to start bringing them indoors. I want to try to have as many problems taken care of before I'm bringing them inside. I don't want to have to treat them for insects once they're indoors. I do that while they're still generally outside all the time. So catching it early, getting it taken care of before you bring them in, that's always a great idea. And are there any particular products that you kind of lean towards when treating for certain things? I mean, mealybugs has always been something that I've plagued my indoor plants in general, whether it's been a house plant or whether it's been something I'm bringing inside. You know, I, right now, I think I had mentioned to you already that I have these Phalaenopsis orchids inside, moth orchid, kind of standard orchid, and they have mealybug all over them. And it's so frustrating because at first they were on one, next thing you know, it's on two, now it's on three of them. 
And so it's just a little bit of a constant battle. Are there any products that you recommend that people can use that are easier to use inside, maybe that you wouldn't use outside? Uh, absolutely. So mealybugs are tough. And, and boy, it does seem like they just creep up on you all of a sudden. And that's because they like to hide. They like to hide deep down in the crevices of the plant. So they're, there's more of them there than you actually realize. And uh, a product I've always gone to before in the past was uh, Triple Action. I'm sure you're probably familiar with the Tiger. Mm -hmm. That's a, uh, a neem pyrethrin, uh, completely organic. Uh, but what I like about that product is the pyrethrin in it kind of agitates those mealy bugs and gets them to crawl out of those hiding places. And when they come out of there, that's whenever you get them with the, uh, the neem oil. Um, so really good combo. Uh, great product for indoors or outdoors. Um, and then just like any problem, I mean, there's always a little bit better go-to solutions. Uh, so triple action's great. I also really like spinosad soap. I think that would probably be your, uh, your go-to for the mealy bugs on your orchid would be the spinosad soap. So, uh, really, you know, going in and letting somebody know what your specific problem is, they might be able to gear, uh, you know, a, a particular insecticide. Uh, for that particular problem. There's no real go-to all-around solution. You know, kind of pinpoint it for your pest. Yeah, and so for those of people watching on Facebook Live right now, I did post a picture of what a mealy bug looks like. It's a little white, almost. What, what, what are those other bugs? Pill bugs kind of looking? Sow bugs? It sow, looks sow, a little bit like a, yeah, but, like a sow bug. They're yeah, much they're smaller, though. Much, much, yeah. much smaller. And they're white, and they're fuzzy, and they tend to kind of get in the nooks and crannies of the plants. And, and the one I want to mention about the products that Daniel had mentioned is that both of those are what we would consider natural or are they even certified organic? I don't think the, the, the triple action yeah, is. They're, they're both going to be. Yeah. Triple action is going to be uh, Omri certified. Now. Oh, okay. So, so both the, both the spinosad soap and, uh, and triple action. And so if you're using those inside, unlike harsh chemicals that you know people get worried about because it's inside they're breathing them they don't know where to use them could make your house smell i mean these are products that do have an, a fragrance to them but they're they're natural products The fragrance goes away over a little bit of time and they're easy to use you, you by you, fragrance do you mean odor is that what you're talking <laughs> odor. about I, I was trying to put a nice spin on it you know yeah, not but fragrance but it'll it, go away <laughs> it's kind of like i i feel the smell is kind of is, is the same as a vegetable oil or, or, or something of that, that you would kind of have. That's what I get from the odor from it. But, um, you know, they're, they're, yeah. they're easy to use inside in the idea that you're not going to have some orthene smell or malathion smell yeah. going throughout your whole house. You know, those thing. watching on Facebook have the yeah. advantage of actually seeing the picture of the bug that you, um, <clears throat> excuse me, put up there on Facebook, Tiger. The mealy bug. Yeah. The mealy bug out there. So Tiger threw me with that picture because he had Daniel's picture there. <laughs> And then I looked at my phone and came back, and all of a sudden it was a mealy bug. From Daniel to a mealy bug yeah. Yeah, on our Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, so, um, you know, one of the things that we saw when we were in England, Daniel, were, were people bringing in citrus trees for the winter. Out in Colorado. That's and really in those... common here in Colorado. Yeah, Is it? Imagine, Tell yeah. us a little bit about that and what people need to consider. Yeah, so same thing. Uh, make sure you take care of any insect problems early. Uh, boy, and, 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 you know, I hate to keep going back to the same product, but that spinosad soap is fantastic for citrus because one of the more common insect issues are leaf miners. And leaf miners are really tough to get rid of because you, you have to get in contact with the insect, and that insect's crawling through that leaf layer. And that spinosad soap actually <laughs> penetrates that leaf layer, gets where the, uh, the leaf miner's feeding. So, um, you know, before bringing them in, give them a good spraying and uh, bring them indoors, keep an eye on them. Uh, you know, I tend to see a lot of uh, spider mite uh, really getting bad. Hey, hey Daniel, we're going to have to take a commercial break right now, but then when we get back, we'll finish up the talk about leak miner and spider mite. Yeah, do stay with us. Questions for Daniel and one of us, 855-424-9825. You can also hit us up, john at gardenamerica.com. 
Better still, Facebook Live as Garden America continues on your Saturday Biz morning. Talk News wants to feature your business as part of our discovery feature, which highlights businesses that are not yet known nationally, but offer products or services that benefit Biz TV viewers. Available in over 40 markets on broadcast TV and online via biztvclub.com. Biz TV wants to help get the word out about your business. If you're interested in having your business featured on a future episode of Biz Talk Discovery, email us at discovery at biztv.com. We paid less for our Craftmatic today than we did 20 years ago. If you're still searching for the perfect solution to a good night's sleep, call now for prices and free information on today's Craftmatic adjustable beds. And then decide when you see how little they cost. Rated number one by consumers nationwide on consumeraffairs.com. Craftmatic beds come in all mattress types, including cool gel memory foam for up to 50% less than today's leading memory foam brand. Enjoy temporary relief of low back pain, poor circulation, nighttime time heartburn, mild arthritis. You'll sleep better in a Craftmatic adjustable bed. So if you're still searching for the perfect solution to a good night's sleep, call now for prices and information and then decide when you see how little they cost. Discover Craftmatic for less, up to 50% less than today's leading memory foam brand. Call 1-800-316-5271. That's 1-800-316-5271. 1-800-316-5271. 1-800-316-5271. Call now. Now you can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline tickets. Book a flight today to London, Paris, Madrid, or anywhere else you want to go. And pay a lot less guaranteed. Call the International Travel Department right now at low-cost airlines. 800-217-5107. 800-217-5107. That's 800-217-5107. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family... We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-569-3414. That's 800-569-3414. Again, 800-569-3414. Do you owe $10,000 or more on at least two federal student loans? Then you may qualify for new programs offered by the Department of Education. These programs can reduce your interest, lower your payments, and possibly qualify you for loan forgiveness. If you have $10,000 or more and at least two federal student loans and currently not in school, you may qualify for one of these programs. Call now to check your eligibility. Student loan advisors are standing by to help you determine if you qualify for these new programs. They can help you reduce your interest, lower your payment, and even forgive a portion of your student loan debt. Take control of your financial future. Make this free five-minute free call now to Nationwide Student Loans and learn how you can reduce your student loan debt. 800-439-1588. 800-439-1588. 800-439-1588. 800-439-1588. Suddenly cut your income in half, but not your bills. It might have been an injury or illness or your boss just cutting back your hours. It doesn't really matter how you got in over your head. It only matters that you are and that we're here to help. If you've got over $10,000 in credit card debt and you can't ever see breaking free, then call Action Debt and do it now. Being in over your head is a vicious cycle. One day late, they charge you a late fee. Miss a payment, they double your rate. You just don't think it's fair and neither do we. 
This is not bankruptcy or just a simple rate reduction plan. We fight for you using our proven experience in the insider programs that credit card companies try to hide. If you owe at least $10,000 to the credit card companies, you owe it to yourself to call Action Debt at 800-384-7099. Just because you got in over your head doesn't mean you have to stay there forever. Call 800-384-7099 today and we can be on your side tomorrow. 800-384-7099. 800-384-7099. This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for business talk. Online at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. And, of course, you can also post your questions, comments right there on Facebook Live 35 minutes after the hour. Do appreciate you uh, joining us this morning as we continue. It is that time of the year, especially in Colorado, colder places. <laughs> Got to be concerned about uh, bringing your plants inside as we continue with uh, Daniel, who is calling from Colorado Tiger. Yeah, and before the break, he was just wrapping up talking about bringing in citrus trees for the wintertime. Um, leaf miners, spider mites, different things that might come in with your citrus trees. He had mentioned the use of spinosa soap. Now, now, Daniel, correct me if I'm wrong, and I don't know if you know the answer to this question, but the spinosa soap, um, it's by Natural Guard, and it comes in a ready-to-use bottle. I think it might come in a hose and sprayer, but is it the only spinosa soap on the market right now? Um, you know, I believe so. I know when we came out with it in the ready-to-use, uh, that was the only way it was available. Uh, this year, like you said, we did come out with it a concentrate and a hose in. Not sure if any other companies have picked up on it, but boy, it is quickly becoming one of my go-to products. So, Well, it's, it's an amazing really, really product. Great. For people that don't know what spinosad is, it's, it's a bacteria that's meant to treat chewing insects, caterpillars, mm -hmm. worms, grasshoppers, all of those. And the product that was kind of old school for that was BT. You saw that. And it only came in concentrate. It was very hard to get it Bacillus ready to Bacillus thuringiensis use. or whatever. How do you say that? <laughs> John can How say How do you it. say that, John? Bacillus. That's right. Yeah, thuringiensis. Thurin oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. Pat myself well, on the with, back. <laughs> with BT, yeah, with BT, you only had control of insects in the caterpillar family, though. Right. Uh, what I really like about spinosad soap is now you're getting into the the spider mites and uh, and other soft bodied insects so you're outside of just that uh, that caterpillar family which is great which yeah exactly I mean if you have aphids if you had mentioned you had spider mites mm -hmm. if you have mealybugs the soap aspect of it the the fatty acids addition to that help with those bugs as well so so it kind of minimizes the amount of products you have to have in your arsenal when treating when treating bugs so that's a really great product um, that you know, for those yeah, of you that, a plus. that don't know about it, it's by Natural Guard. Um, Natural Guard only sells to independent garden centers. So you're not going to find this product in a box store. Right. You're going to have to go into a nursery or independent garden center to be able to find this. Um, and I would say most garden centers across the nation carry Natural Guard, furlough, um, high-yield products. So definitely look out for that. I know if yeah, you go to their website – yeah, if you go to their website, you can find a dealer in your area. Hey, Daniel, as far as application, I know in the past we've suggested uh, two weeks to 10 days for the spinosad. What is your take on that? That'd be perfect. Two weeks to 10 days. Depending on what insects you're trying to treat, make sure you get that spray up underneath the foliage. That's where a lot of insects tend to want to hide. So don't neglect the undersides of those leaves. But 10 to 14 days is perfect. Excellent. Hey, is there is there any other products out there that are coming out from you guys in the upcoming spring that we need to look forward to? Um, boy, we well, like I said, we've got the upsizes of the spinosad soap. One of the the big things we found out last year was how great it was at killing Japanese beetles, and so everybody that was using it for Japanese beetles wanted wanted it in something more than a ready to use so that's where we came out with the hose in and the concentrate for spraying larger areas um we do have a couple of size changes on some things our uh, brush and stump killer which is great for uh making sure if you're cutting down a, 
a tree that you don't want to have anymore and you want to make sure that they don't have all the uh, the little suckers coming up from the roots, uh, we made a smaller bottle of that so you can apply it real easy. So uh, a couple of new items there. Um, also still going big are our Natural Guard fertilizers. We've Those have been a really big hit, and so we've come out with some larger sizes of those as well. One of the products I'm looking forward to, and it might not be available in California. I saw it on your list, though, is that you guys have a a nut grass, I think it came ready to spray um, product that I'm really excited about trying out yeah, because I have a nut be... grass problem in my lawn. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be uh, sulfentrazone. And boy, I tell you, it's great for killing uh, the purple and the yellow nut sedge. Uh, so. Yeah, that's a. If you've ever had problems with nuts edge before, uh, when you find there's a solution out there, it's going to make you really happy. It's <laughs> a difficult weed to get rid of. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. I, I almost killed my whole lawn yeah. trying to get rid of the nut grass. Yeah, it's like never ending. Oh, oh yeah. constant. Um, yeah. Hey, Daniel. So, so you... back to the, the well. So back to the citrus. I'm bringing yes. them indoors. Yes. A couple of recommendations I'd make. Uh, be sure you put them in a nice sunny area but away from any uh, windows or doors that may be a little drafty, don't let the foliage touch those windows. Um, you know, get them to where they're getting plenty of sun, but not, you know, not right up against that window. Um, and also back off a little bit on your fertilizing. I usually, uh, during the winter months, I usually, you know, drop my fertilizing down to at least half. So no need to keep pumping them full of food all winter long. All right. Yeah, they need to relax a little bit. That's part of what it's all about, right, Daniel? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And you know, where 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 you guys where you live, where it gets colder, I'm sure they keep the houses nice and warm. And for those citrus trees that you bring in, and you know, for your other house plants, I tell people to be cautious because that's the time of year when people dry out their citrus or, or their, their house plant because they're running the heater. It's that hot, dry air in their home um, where they were watering once every 10 to 12 days before. You might have to water more frequent, right? Yeah, keep an eye on them. Uh, focusing on looking at that soil. The plant might not give you the, the exact signs, uh, but if you look at the soil, you can tell if it's drying out quicker from being indoors and being in that dry heat. All right. Hey, so moving on to now outside, um, what are some things that people need to start considering now going into the winter? It might not be time yet, but in the next few months, there's there's treatments for your outside plants to get them ready for next spring, dormant oil sprays, things like that. When when do people want to consider that and what, what products do they want to use for the dormant oil sprays, the treatment for the winter bugs? Well, dormant oil sprays, you're probably going to, you know, like you said, that's still going to be a few months away. You want to wait until uh, cooler temperatures um, and, uh, and maybe a little bit of more foliage has fallen off the shrubs. That's really just kind of making sure insects don't uh, overwinter uh, in, your, in your trees and shrubs. Uh, but biggest thing right now, I'd say, is start looking into winterizing. Winterize your lawn, winterize your, uh, your trees and shrubs. That's arguably probably the most important fertilizing you can do uh, for your trees and shrubs and your lawn for that matter is doing a winterizer. All right. Hey, so Daniel, Colorado, everything's going well over there. What do you guys have in the near future out where you live? Are you guys, um, do you guys have a big uh, Christmas event or, or I, I, and I'm jumping the gun here. We haven't even hit things. We haven't even hit um, Halloween or Thanksgiving yet. That's okay. Go to the shopping malls. It's, yeah, it's Christmas. Exactly. Um, uh, you, uh, we've already got ski resorts opening, so uh, yeah. everybody's really getting in the mood with, for that. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you guys got any big plans for Halloween? Uh, a few plans, um, but uh, like I said, uh, when you start seeing the, the, the snow reports in the mountains, uh, it's kind of hard to think of anything other than uh, trying to get up there and you know, get to the, get the first, uh, first bit of snow. So. <laughs> well, great. Well, Hey, thank you for joining us. Um, it was great. Good information. And you know, hopefully, hopefully you get a chance yeah. to get up in the mountains soon and uh, get some snow. You got it guys. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Yeah. Thank All you right, for the great care. information. Take care, Daniel. Okay. Those of you in the colder climates, it's already snowing in Colorado, certain areas. So uh, that's what you, you got. You got more to do than we do. 
as far as plants inside and outside here so, in San Diego? I don't know if San Diego has made me lazy. I grew up here in San Diego, yeah. so I don't know any. Well, better. you you and me both. John is yeah. the one who's yeah. the late uh, late. Brian arrival. always asks me that question yeah. too. What do you think's made Tiger so lazy? <laughs> <laughs> but. If I had to do as much work right? as people in the Midwest or East Coast when it came to gardening. Serious gardeners. I don't know. Those are real what serious gardeners. You know, don't, don't feel sorry for them because <laughs> they have all winter to rest and recuperate. Yeah, that's true. Or we're still working through the whole winter, yeah, that pulling is, that weeds, is true. cutting grass, pruning. Yeah. There, everything's covered with snow, and they just sit by the fire. You have to have a place in your house to bring. If you have a lot of plants, to bring them inside. An orangery. You, you, you have yeah, to have an orangery. Yeah. You better have available space for that, like you said, away from share the window, so on and so forth. So hopefully that was good information. Uh, questions, comments, uh, right there, John at GardenAmerica.com. You can also call us at 855-424-9825. Facebook Live, we're watching it all the time for the entire two hours. Probably one of the better places to post your questions and comments. Music means it's break time. We have one more segment coming up, hour number one here on this Saturday morning here. Garden America, John Bignasco, Tiger Palafox. I'm Brian Maine. It is good to have you along. Thank you for spending part of your weekend with us. Going to talk about uh, that rose auction. Also, too, coming up in either a year or two, different plans for a different destination in terms of a garden tour. Stay with us. All that and more coming up next right here on Garden America. Want a better looking lawn with less effort? Husqvarna's robotic automower is the effortless way to mow. Husqvarna's intelligent design allows the automower to maneuver around your lawn without supervision, even over tricky terrain and around obstacles. It knows when it needs to be charged and directs itself back to the charging dock. With convenient control options, the Husqvarna allows you to set it and forget it, even from your smartphone. Thanks to Husqvarna, you can have a great looking lawn and more time to enjoy it this season. Visit Mission Hills Nursery at 1525 Fort Stockton Drive in San Diego or go to missionhillsnursery.com for more info. Having bug problems this season? Need an overall solution? Try Natural Guard Spinosad Soap. This combination of spinosad and fatty acids kills aphids, mealybugs, worms, caterpillars, and other bugs that plague your garden. It's also safe to use around your fruit and veggies to make sure you enjoy your crop and not those pesky critters. Find Natural Guard Spinosad Soap in a ready-to-use bottle or ready to spray for those large garden plots at your favorite independent garden center. Go to Fertilome.com for more information. Attention investors. Respected names in the financial services industry are not evaluating if there will be a significant market downturn, but when. Higher interest rates and prospects of a trade war suggest the stock market is headed into a perilous direction. Subprime mortgages, which are back, could potentially devastate the real estate market as they did before. And with stocks simply overdue for a fall after this second longest bull run in history, even bullish analysts are recognizing these indicators that equities are in big trouble and have projected stock market losses up to 40%. You can protect your IRA or 401k for maximum safety and opportunity with physical gold and silver, as they are assets that remain genuine stores of value no matter what's happening in the marketplace. Call Augusta Precious Metals today at 855-858-5806. That's 855-858-5806 to get your free guide to precious metals investing. Call Augusta Precious Metals today at 855-858-5806. That's 855-858-5806. As a small business owner, there's one word that you absolutely dread, payroll. For small businesses, it's a big burden. You may think you're saving time and money doing it yourself. But come on, are you? Timesheets, processing checks, calculating taxes, a total waste of your time. Paychecks simplifies payroll processing, saving you time and money. Submit your payroll online, fax it in, or call your dedicated Paychecks payroll specialist. And you're done. Learn more at TryPaychecks.com. Come on, do the math. The IRS dishes out 8 million penalties a year. Make one mistake and you're on the hook. On average, you're losing nearly one business day every month doing payroll. That's time and money you'll never get back, unless you get paychecks. More than half a million small businesses already do. Call 877-649-5324. Trade payroll pressure for peace of mind. Call now. 877-649-5324. That's 877-649-5324. Are you ready to leave your corporate job behind and be your own boss? Have you ever dreamed of owning a business? Do you have $50,000 or more sitting around in a 401k? If you answered yes, it's time to invest in yourself by buying or starting a business or franchise. IRS code allows you to use money in a 401k to invest in a business with absolutely no penalties or taxes. 
At Guided Financial, we've helped more than 11,000 entrepreneurs invest $3 billion in retirement assets into the small businesses and franchises of their dreams. So if you've got $50,000 or more in a 401k and you're looking for a way to start a business, call Guidant Financial now for free information and to learn more. Operators are standing by for your call. 800-570-6630. 800-570-6630. 800-570-6630. That's 800-570-6630. Does your water stain and damage your fixtures? Does it smell or taste bad? Are you worried about about what's in your water. Water quality should not be painful and worrisome. Get HydroCare Water Systems from Wave Home Solutions with the most advanced purification technologies. Call Wave Home Solutions today at 1-888-989-WAVE or go to greathealthywater.com. HydroCare will eliminate lime scale that causes hundreds of dollars in damage to pipes and appliances without using salt. Well water will no longer smell or stain your fixtures. City water will be purified of harmful chlorine, lead, arsenic, and chemicals. Wave Home Solutions provides the cleanest, healthiest water at every faucet. Satisfaction guaranteed. For more information, call 1-888-989-WAVE, 1-888-989-WAVE, or go to greathealthywater.com. That's greathealthywater.com. Wave Home Solutions for a healthy, comfortable home. This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for business talk. Online at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825 or john at gardenamerica.com. We are back for our final segment. This is uh, the first hour of Garden America on your Saturday. The date is... uh, what is the date today? The 27th, right? Because the 28th is tomorrow for the Rose Auction. 27th. That's right. Wow. Time flies. And that auction, again, we talked about the live auction, one thirty to 3.30, but you can uh, you can go at 9 o'clock in the morning, right, John, tomorrow? The silent auction starts at 9. Okay. But the live auction starts at one thirty. It's always very quiet during that silent auction. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be. Hey. hey, you know what we need? We need A some help. A lot of things. <laughs> well, well yeah. we need some help from our <laughs> listeners. Because we're planning our 2020 tour, and we have a choice of four places. Now, now we should remind people that we we do listen to you because we tossed out the Alaska cruise, right. Victoria, Vancouver, and the general consensus was no because I've already done that before. I've been there before. Right. So now we want to know where do you want to go? Exactly. So listen closely to these destinations. Okay, and and uh, we'll still probably to go where we want to go <laughs> but your input is really important yeah, we do want to know where we you know people go. are really interested uh you know we have to be with you for 10 days so right. we want to make sure you're having a good time so we are now let me ask you this would it be would you mind taking emails from people during the week as far as where they want to go they can they can put it on facebook obviously but i mean to keep kind of a running record yeah, if they want to okay. they can uh, see i want to ask you first i'm trying to be respectable <laughs> Well, I did get an email from a listener who said, uh, I won't tell anyone you never answer your emails. <laughs> <laughs> I think you do a good job. I, I try to, but I really get close a between 500 and 1,000 a week. Uh, of course, of and, course. So here are your if choices. If I miss one, it's gone. We're, so here are your choices for either 2019 or 2020. Yeah, now uh, we're going with Earthbound Expeditions again in 2020, and Matthew highly recommends a summer tour of Ireland. Okay, there's Ireland. Which he says is fantastic. But then we also uh, could go to South Africa. South Africa. If we go to South Africa, um, we might be able to include uh, Ludwig's Roses in there. Uh, Our good friend Anya Tashner is in South Africa, so that might be kind of fun. Then, um, Then Southern Italy. Southern Italy, okay. Including Pompeii, the... uh, Amalfi Coast, uh, uh, Sicily, of, right? One of the yeah, yeah, in, in one of the other islands, like uh, something exotic. Yeah, could we work in Greece? No. Okay. <laughs> what, what was the first option? Or Ireland. 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 South right. Africa, and southern Italy. Southern Italy. 
And New- then the last choice would be New Zealand. New Zealand, okay. Which would really be my first choice, except New Zealand will be the most expensive right. uh, tour. And the, now, they say South Africa is reasonable in terms of cost, but that's also a long trip as well. Well, it's a long trip, uh, flight-wise, but uh, it's you get more There's than a lot you to do, do out of New Zealand. Right. So but, um, Ireland, South Africa, New right. Zealand, Southern Italy. Right. And this is for 2020. 2020. Okay. Yeah. So, so let us know what you want. Where do you want to go? Or maybe you have an idea. That we haven't listed. Yeah, if you've got one we haven't thought of, I've sure. got other ones I would like to do. But yeah, you want to do you want to do the Antarctic tour? I know that. Well, I do want to do the Iceland, Greenland, sometime. Yeah, that would be fun, wouldn't it? I think it would. So be. for those of you watching on Facebook Live, there's a little purple circle in the upper right hand corner. If you click on that, you can take our poll, and the options are listed between Ireland, South Africa, New Zealand. What? And Look at that, already, <laughs> just like that. How did he do that? What was the other one that I wrote in there? Okay, we, we've got... It was we, Ireland, South Africa, New Zealand, and... Southern, Southern, Italy. Italy. Southern Italy. Southern Italy. I got Southern those Italy. options. So take right. the poll there. Take the poll, or give us one of your own. If or you give us one of your own. Some place that you'd like to go. Hey, before we get off on another topic, I did want to answer our listener Laura's question on Facebook Live. Winterizing. That wondered about winterizing. And Laura, that is a great question. And for those of you that do not live, or for those of you that live in California, you have no clue what winterizing is because we really don't do it here. Maybe in Northern California, it's a possibility, but for the most part, no. But on the East Coast and Midwest, people do this every year. Winterizing your lawn or winterizing winterizing your shrubs or trees is where you do a specific fertilizer in the fall and it's usually a high potassium fertilizer and what that does is it encourages the roots of these plants and lawns to develop and grow so they don't enter into full dormancy through the winter and what that hopefully does is helps the plant fight off any kind of disease or rotting that may occur due to high volume of water in the soil or anything like that so Laura, you live in Spring Valley, and you have probably never or needed to winterize any of your shrubs, trees, or lawns, Um, but it is something that people commonly do on the East Coast and Midwest where they get severe winter. Yeah, we're we're okay here for the most part. Yeah, I I mean— John, I mean, do they even do that in Oregon or Washington? Oh, yeah. Do they do that? Okay. So right. up north, maybe northern California. Yeah, and there's more things involved. I mean, heavy mulching around plants. So Rick's going to be a busy boy. Broadleaf evergreens, spraying them with an antitranspirant. Mm-hmm. You know, like rhododendrons in Michigan, uh, to get them to survive the winter is really You know what? You're difficult. right, Tiger. I would be just <laughs> – I, I would have to, it's like learning it all over again, right? Gardening. In a yeah. state that gets very cold, which you know, is one I reason moved, why John left. You, you, oh, yeah, exactly. And when I moved from from Michigan to California, uh, I was, it's like I, I had no idea what was around me. I didn't know any of the plants. I would go to bed probably for the first year I lived here. I went to bed reading at night the Western Garden book. Just to get familiar with everything out here. Yeah. Did yeah. you find it much simpler? It's a different way of gardening, but after a while, did you find it simpler than living in Michigan? No. Really? Definitely not simpler, but um, there's a lot more. Well, there's a lot less to do, isn't there, out here as far as winterizing and bringing plants inside? Well, yeah, but like we were talking about earlier, it's 12 months a year work out here. Yeah, that's true. Or there. You rest. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, the plants don't begin to leaf out until May, and then in September, the leaves change color. So So there you go. So there you go. We're starting to get some people... uh, Mentioning where it is they want to go. Okay. And this is at uh, johnandgardenamerica.com. No, this is on Facebook. Oh, I didn't even see it. Yeah. 50% want to go to southern Italy. 25% want to go to Ireland. 25% want to go to New Zealand. What what happened to China and Japan from Sue? Well, (laughs) right now we're talking about, excuse me, 2020. Right. And... You're going to lose your voice this again. Frog out of my hey, we're going to take a break. We're going to talk more about this on the I'll other side. get rid side. of the frog during the break. Hey, stay with us. We've got news coming up on many of these BizTalk radio affiliates. We're going to come back and discuss this trip uh, about six minutes after. It'll be afternoon on the East Coast and still morning for the rest of the country. So do stay with us as we talk about possible destinations. 
Of course, uh, more information on the Rose Auction tomorrow. Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, Tiger Palafox, Garden America taking a break. Hour two coming up six minutes after. Stay with us. Listen on the go. Download the Biz Talk Radio app. Available in iOS, Android, and BlackBerry. Biz Talk Radio. The opinions you hear on Biz Talk Radio are those of the hosts, callers, and guests, and do not necessarily reflect those of this station, Biz Talk Radio, its management, or advertisers. The information on Biz Talk Radio does not constitute a recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or service. If you have any questions about Biz Talk Radio, contact us at 817-274-1609 or at biztalkradio.com. This is Biz Talk Radio. America's home for business talk online at biz For USA Radio News, I'm Rick Vincent. A suspect has surrendered following a shooting in a Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania synagogue. At least 7 people have been confirmed dead. Fingerprints and DNA helped capture Caesar Sayoc, the 56-year-old Florida man accused of sending more than a dozen suspected explosive devices to critics of President Trump. His boss tells CNN she would not let Sayoc deliver pizzas during the day because his van was covered in images of Democratic leaders with red crosshairs over their faces. I had him driving at night, parked the van around the corner. I never got any complaints from any of the customers. A 19-year-old Texas Christian University student who was arrested in September on hazing charges is dead of an apparent suicide. WFAA reports Andrew Walker's body was found on a sidewalk this past week after jumping from the fourth floor of an apartment complex parking garage. It's in the history books as the longest postseason game in Major League Baseball history. The Dodgers winning 3-2 over the Red Sox. This is USA Radio News. This is a national health alert from the Healthcare Hotline. Are you on Medicare and or have private insurance and suffer from back pain? MD Topical has a solution for you. Today, you can qualify to receive a pain-relieving treatment, such as a comfortable back brace or a customized pain treatment at little or no cost. Call MD Topical toll-free now, 877-875-509. It just takes a to qualify for these amazing treatments that have helped thousands of people with severe pain. Your personalized pain treatment will be delivered directly to your door. Call MD Topical toll-free, 877-875-5909, or go to mdtopical.com and get started on your road to a pain-free life. Call MD Topical toll-free, 877-875-5909, or go to mdtopical.com. More now on our top story, Caesar Sayoc's family attorney, Ronald Lowy, tells CNN why he thinks Sayoc went from no interest in politics to becoming a Trump fanatic the last few years. It's my opinion that he was attracted uh, to the uh, Trump uh, formula of reaching out to these types of uh, outsiders, people who don't fit in, people who are angry at America, uh, telling them that they have a place at the table, telling them that it's okay to get angry. Lowy says Sayoc's mother and sisters had urged him to seek medical treatment because he struggled with a lack of comprehension of reality. Vice President Mike Pence tells Fox News members of the migrant caravan heading to the U.S. should turn around or apply for asylum in Mexico. He says it's not just a spontaneous caravan of vulnerable people. What the president of Honduras told me is that uh, the caravan was organized by leftist organizations, political activists within Honduras, and he said it was being funded by outside groups and even from Venezuela. This is USA Radio News. Look, you've heard me talking for a year about how much I love my pillow. You can get one too. And now it's a better deal than ever. You go to mypillow.com, click on the buy one, get one free special, use promo code USA. You'll get one free pillow when you buy one at regular price plus shipping. And don't forget, now you have until March 1st to return it if you're not absolutely in love with it. Go to mypillow.com, use promo code USA or call 1 800 951 8175. But do it now. Facebook has removed dozens of Iranian accounts for contributing disinformation campaigns against the United States. USA's Winnie King has more. It removed multiple pages, groups, and accounts that originated in Iran for engaging in coordinated, inauthentic behavior on Facebook and on Instagram. A total of 82 accounts were purged, according to Facebook. They uncovered a propaganda operation traced to Iranian state media in August. They said it was the largest of its kind since Russian operatives spread falsehoods during the 2016 presidential election. 
Facebook says no ties to the Iranian government were found in the purged accounts. They said the propaganda tried to provoke outrage over racial and political matters. Police in Canada say a 27-year-old Toronto woman faces allegations of witchcraft after she allegedly convinced a man to give her more than $600,000 to ward off evil spirits. According to NBC, York Regional Police issued a statement on Facebook saying Samantha Stevenson faces charges of pretending to practice witchcraft, fraud, and possession of property obtained by a crime. The man sold his house and gave the money to Stevenson, then sold his car to give her another $6,000, which she claimed she'd burn to help ward off evil spirits. York authorities say the allegation of witchcraft is not based on religion, but rather deal with individuals who fraudulently portray themselves as having fortune-telling abilities or pretend to use witchcraft or sorcery to obtain money or valuables from a victim. For USA Radio News, I'm Rick Vincent. Attention business owners and independent contractors. This is a money-saving message from Tax Mediation Services. If your business owes $20,000 or more in taxes, we can help you today, right now. Listen, dealing with the IRS is no picnic. It's an intimidating and extremely stressful process, and you don't want to go it alone. Our attorneys know every law, every tax break, and every possible opportunity to help you resolve and reduce your tax debt. And if you owe more than $20,000, you may be at the top of their hit list. So don't take your tax debt lightly because it will not go away on its own. The IRS can seize your bank accounts, your home, and even shut down what your is? business. Call our tax experts today at 1-800-285-4765 and let us deal with the IRS while you focus on your business. That's 1-800-285-4765. Again, 800-285-4765. Welcome to the Garden America Show, the country's most listened to gardening program. This is your chance to join us as we talk about gardening, horticulture, landscaping, in fact, anything that has to do with the world of gardening. The phone lines are open right now at 1-855-424-9825. That's 1-855-424-9825 for your questions and comments or john at gardenamerica.com. And if you're watching us on Facebook Live, you can also post your questions and comments right there on our page during the broadcast. Now, here's Brian Maine, John Bagnasco, and Tiger Palafox on the Garden America Radio and Media Network. We are all set to go with uh, our number two. Thank you so much, those that uh, tuned in and watched us on Facebook Live, our number one. We are back. It is six minutes after, toward the end of the hour, to start talking about all the places they were considering for garden tours coming up in 2020, mentioned Ireland, South Africa, Southern Italy, and uh, New Zealand. And then, of course, at the end of the hour, um, our good friend Sue chimed in and said, what about Japan or China? Now, because we had talked about that before, yes. and it's possible that we'll be going to China and Japan next year. And we have a meeting tomorrow morning uh, to discuss whether or not that's going to be feasible. That would be 2019. Yeah, that'll be probably next fall, so it'd be okay. fall of 2019. So, Sue, that is still under consideration. Right. Uh, the rest of you, though, uh, chime in. Places that you want to go, maybe some gardens that you want to see that you haven't seen. Uh, we are up for any suggestions or ideas. John at GardenAmerica.com. Facebook Live, because obviously Facebook keeps track of everything, uh, previous shows, videos, and your comments and questions as well. Now, my brother Dave said we need to get the band back together again and put Southern Italy in all capitals. He, he wants so, to go to southern Italy. So I think that that vote counts more than just if you're using <laughs> lowercase letters. So, so capital letters is capital more of an impact. Capital letters count, definitely counts more. Now, what would the itinerary be, uh, southern Italy, John, roughly speaking? We'd be covering, we'd go to Pompeii. All right. And um, we'd go to some, to the Amalfi Coast, which should Beautiful. be phenomenal. Wow. Right? And we would cover... Um, I'm trying to think of what the islands were. Um, I think possibly Capri, the Isle of Capri. Okay. And uh, it would definitely be an experience. That would be beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You're almost talking me into that right now. Yeah, it would be fun. And, and the uh, I'm not sure the time of year for that trip, but I imagine that it would be early spring, but I could be wrong. Maybe so, Tiger, do why don't you put up a, a map of these different places on our Facebook page? Put <laughs> Southern Italy, put Ireland just, up there. Just I'll find put the itineraries also. Random, find random a random picture uh, from these various locations. With the little uh, red line on where you yeah, are where each we, day. You yeah. know. I'll, just right. I'll just figure a it out right now. 
So oh. uh, that's uh, that is a lot to ponder, and uh, boy, any place we pick, it's going to be a great time. You know, again, uh, New Zealand would probably be the most difficult one to do, but. I still have never been anywhere in the world as beautiful as New Zealand. That's what they say. It's just like I've said this another many world, times. another world. Better, it's like you landscape the entire country. Better <laughs> than better than old Zealand, really? Yeah, that old Zealand was pretty good. There is yeah. an old Zealand, you know that. <laughs> Zealanders, right? Kiwis, they're called Kiwis. You know, and um, I th- I think I told you this story before, but when I took my daughter went to school her senior year in New Zealand. And uh, and I took her down there. Um, you to, flew her, you flew down there. Yeah, I flew okay. down with her to okay. meet the family she was staying with, and 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 all that. And the people there were so nice that you know before I think I spent a week with her, and we did a little touring before I dropped her off, and she stayed with her host family. And we were in a store getting postcards, and you know spinning the rack looking at postcards. And I was talking to my daughter, and somebody came up to us and said excuse me but i i heard you talking i and where are you from because she heard our american accents i guess <laughs> and i said oh we're from california and they were really nice and started a whole conversation and then said would you like to come over for dinner tonight <laughs> wow <laughs> really yeah just a two strangers so you did no i didn't oh. because we were on a schedule we were g- going places but that was really nice. That's very nice. And then I, I, Australia, I've only been there to stop in the airport. I've never visited Australia, but I had asked friends who had been to Australia. I told them my experience in New Zealand, and I said, are the people just as nice in Australia? And they said, oh, no, not nearly. <laughs> and I said, well, why is that? They're so close together. And they go, well, New Zealand was found by missionaries. Australia was found <laughs> by criminals. Crim- criminals. <laughs> it's true, yeah. Yeah. I get that. You know, Australia, though, there's too many insects and weird bugs and animals that I don't know that I could deal with. New Zealand has no native animals. Mammals, I should say. No mammals are native to the entire island. Wow. Only birds. Interesting. Yeah. Kiwis are still uh, alive and kicking? Not. They're pretty much extinct yeah. because mammals have been imported like rats. So they've got uh, predators. and So they... The Kiwis are on some of the islands that they don't allow people to go to. Yeah, for good reason. To try to protect them. Yeah. But a lot of interesting things. And I've never been to the South Island in New Zealand, which is where they filmed Lord of the Rings, <laughs> which would be really cool to see. <laughs> they have uh, they have fjords, Brian. Fjords? Yep. Oh. you got to love a good fjord. Yep. Okay, so, so anyway, Alaska is out, but we're looking forward to different uh, countries. Yeah, so this... This sounds good. Because we listen to our listeners. People, you know, I think people say that a lot, you know, backed by popular demand or we listen to you. And, you know, for the most part in the media, for commercials and so on and so forth, that's not always the case. But in this case, we actually are. We want to know where you want to go, what you want to do, because we like hanging out with you. Why? Because we love you. <laughs> is, that, is that Mickey Mouse show? <laughs> yeah, it was, like wasn't it? Yeah, M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. Yeah, the, it was the Y at the end. Why? Because we love you. That's right. All right, what else is on the docket, John? Any uh, emails? Oh, I don't know. I'll check. Okay. While you and, Bri- and well, Tiger are kibitzing. Me and Tiger hey, kibitzing. I, I was going to mention, since the Rose auction and the Rose event is down here in Mission Valley, and there are roses up for auction and for sale there, that... At the nursery, if people go by the nursery since they're going to be in the area, we are having our fall sale of two-for-one roses at the nursery. So if you miss out on any roses at the auction, go to Mission Hills Nursery. Go to Mission Hills Nursery, and you can pick up a couple roses. How much are your roses? I think the standard retail is either twenty-four ninety-nine or twenty-nine ninety-nine right now. So it'd be fifteen. So you got it in a two. You said two-for-one deal. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Got to move inventory. You brought over a bunch of roses. And we started the auction bidding at 15. Yeah. You could get your 15 and we keep the rest. There you go. <laughs> well, yeah, now, let John, me know. Now, John, you, you always set the price or the beginning bid. And I imagine you do that based upon, obviously, the popularity of the rose, the importance of the rose, things no, like actually, that. No, it's, actually, it's, uh depends on um, acquisition cost. Okay. That makes more sense. You know, because some of the roses are donated, some are... We have to buy. Purchased. Yeah. And and it just depends. 
Um, the main purpose of the auction is to save genetics of roses in danger of extinction, but any profits we get from the auction go into to procuring roses for the following year's auction and redistributing some of those. You know it, what we could have done had we thought about it ahead of time? We could have got a tripod, set this up, and do the whole thing on Facebook Live. Oh, now you tell us. We, right, Tiger? We could have yeah. done that. We could have done that. Mm -hmm. Maybe next year. Next year. Yeah, we just get a tripod, set it up, and let it run. People can tune in, in and out. And no matter where you live, you yeah. can, you see what's going on. So we'll do that for next year. Hmm. Yeah. All right, you guys are in charge of yeah, that because no, I, I should, have too much to think I should of. have thought of that before. But one of the things we were able to do, I, I, I forget if we've talked about this on air before, but uh, we were notified from a garden in Hungary uh, in Budapest, the Buda Tateni Rose Garden, that they wanted our help because they had a lot of roses in danger of extinction. I think 40 or 50 of the roses in that garden, they have the last one left in the world. And uh, so they wanted to get roses to us to help distribute them. Mm -hmm. But you can't bring roses from Hungary into the U.S. So right now we have someone in France attempting to help us do that. And hopefully we can get some of those over here next year. Why does, but, why does that sound sneaky to me, the way you said that? <laughs> yeah, they don't allow, but we got people in France that are working on it. <laughs> Just don't you worry about well, it. Well, you can bring roses in from France. So the Buddha Tateni Rose Garden is sending cuttings to France. Gotcha. They're rooting them in France. They'll grow them there. And, and we know how easy it is from, you know, roses from France to, you know, to Mexico to get back into the United States. Yeah, that's, we, even that's not easy. We, yeah, I, <laughs> I say easy sarcastically. Right. We had trouble with that. But anyway, hopefully we'll be able to get more of these. But because of the auctions that we've had, we were able to donate 150,000 HUFs to that garden. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. So, and so, so that'll help them because they're a public rose garden. They don't have many funds. So you can send roses from the United States to Hungary? No. Oh, you can't. How, so how are we helping them again? I said we donated 150,000 HUFs. Okay. Which HUFs. is Hungarian Florentines. Okay. I think. If I'm not. I like mistaken. that. I little disclaimer, I think. That sounds a lot better than $550. It does. It does. <laughs> Okay, I've got to take a break. We want to hear from you. What's on your mind? 855-424-9825. John at GardenAmerica.com. Winter planting, fall planting. We've been talking about that for a couple of weeks. This is the time of the year. Want to talk about a possible destination for a garden tour? Let us know on Facebook or email John at GardenAmerica.com. We continue on BizTalk Radio because we love everybody at BizTalk Radio. Thank you so much. Hi, this is gardening expert Melinda Myers. Keeping the environment in mind, I recommend Melorganite slow-release nitrogen fertilizer for all your growing needs. From plants to people, active growth requires energy, nutrients, and a balanced diet. Nutrient-rich Melorganite feeds the soil and plants for up to 10 weeks. The non-burning, non-leaching formula provides a slow and consistent flow of nutrients. Trust the fertilizer, proven effective for over 90 years. Melorganite for better results. Visit Melorganite.com for a garden center near you. Everything is coming up roses in San Diego from October 25th to 29th. Lance Walheim here, and I'm honored to be the keynote speaker at the National Convention of the American Rose Society. BioAdvance and Heirloom Roses will be co-sponsoring the 18th annual Save the Roses auction, along with the rose shows, speakers, and festivities of the American Rose Society. So join me at the San Diego Crown Plaza Hotel and Convention Center, and go to GardenAmerica.com and check the homepage for links to registration and event schedule. You like business content. I mean, if you did like business content, you wouldn't be listening to this show, right? What if I can give you even more of what you like? Now, we've never... Pops up and it goes away. You are very busy. Between your work, family, and outside commitments, this hey, they're messing up our show. Yeah. Catch up on your favorite show. But do you always get to tune in? Exactly. Well, now there's a business club with you in mind. BizBot is the place for business videos on demand. We have partnered with this show to provide you more of the content you like. The best part, it's all on demand. That means you can log in anytime from any device and watch shows that answer all of your business questions. For a limited time, you can try it for free for 30 days. Simply go to bizvod.com and enter promo code radio. That's B I Z V O D dot com, promo code radio. 
Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill for pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-521-9579 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy. 1-800-521-9579 to take your call right now. Call 1-800-521-9579. That's 1-800-521-9579. Again, 1-800-521-9579. Here's important new information from the Diabetes Solution Center for you, a family member, or a loved one suffering with diabetes. If you have lost your provider or if you need a provider for diabetic supplies, you may qualify to receive your diabetic testing supplies now with little or no out-of-pocket cost, regardless of your age. All you need is Medicare or private insurance to be potentially eligible. Call the Diabetes Solution Center right now for details. Just takes a couple of minutes. Our friendly, knowledgeable agents will give you free, no obligation information, handle all the insurance paperwork, and make sure your supplies are delivered directly to your door for free. Call U.S. Medical Supply 24 hours a day. 800-597-9323. 800-597-9323. 800-597-9323. Call right now. 800-597-9323. This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for business talk. Online at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. And, of course, besides uh, John at GardenAmerica.com and that phone number, which is 855-424-9825, Facebook Live. And if you uh, look at our Facebook page, um, I just took a picture of myself just for uh, my own personal reasons. So far in our poll, Southern Ireland 20%, New Zealand 20%. And I thought, uh, wasn't Southern Italy tied with, with uh, the poll? The, this poll changes dramatically quickly. Yeah. So how do people, how can they, if they're on watching on Facebook, how can they see the poll? So if you're watching on our Facebook live feed, just take your cursor and scroll over the actual video screen. A little purple dot with a graph like right. looking lines will pop up. Click on that. And then all you have to do is click on your choice, whatever, whether it's South Africa, Southern Italy, Ireland, or New Zealand. Just click on that and then it'll automatically put your vote. And then when you vote, it, you'll see your your selection is yes. blue while everyone else's right. is green. And, and we should mention South Africa, 0.000%. But that's okay. Yeah. So Southern Italy seems to be uh, in the lead right now. Yeah. If you had a horse named Southern Italy, rounding the last turn, it's Southern Italy. Italy. So <laughs> there you go. Oh my goodness. And then again, for people who are wondering about Japan and China, uh, we'll – Probably within a week, have a good idea whether we're going to go there next year. That'll be in the fall of 2019. The tours we were just talking about were for 220. And we're actually going to see uh, 2020. the gentleman helping to organize this uh, ping tomorrow with the Rose Auction. That's right. Got a lot to do. Boy, there's a lot going on next 24 hours. I don't know how you do it, John. Volume, Brian. All that volume. <laughs> all, all that in a radio show, too. So what is on your mind? 855-424-9825, john at gardenamerica.com. And, of course, uh, Facebook Live as we continue our poll question as far as where do you want to go in 2020. Tiger, you mentioned that um, you were having sales at your nursery. Yeah. And it's probably for room mainly, right? Correct, yeah, because we do Christmas trees and we only have so much space. Yeah, but I, but you also have a landscape business. and. What are your customers having done to their yards this time of year? Yeah, so during this time of year, there's a couple things going on. Number one, it's their fall color planting. So for, for as we mentioned, in Southern California, the gardening never right. ends. 
So just this week, we've put in flowers like Snapdragons, pansies, some mums because people like to have them during this time of year. Um, but a lot of the fall color, you know, that go into those small beds just for kind of enhanced gardens. But are pansies the most popular? Or? I would say the most popular are pansies. pansies. Yeah. Yeah. And but also this week, I installed three def definite landscapes. So, again, this is a great time of year to plant shrubs, trees, your just general overall yard stuff because we, we get into the fall, it's cooler. Hopefully, we get some rain in the near future. That I installed some a beautiful landscape with a combination of pygmy date palms, dianella, um, daylilies, some lantana, and there were some birds of paradise. And then we installed another landscape with just straight boxwoods it was a real formal hedge garden and she wanted to outline her yard with boxwood so we installed some boxwood and then the last one what was it what was it um big trees some crepe myrtles lagastromia crepe myrtle trees some nice standard trees not the bush where you get the multi-trunk but standard trees mm -hmm. went in for some people as well Okay, as you drive down the 163 here in San Diego, especially yeah. heading south into downtown, one of the very few places in San Diego where you actually see the trees turning color, you see reds, you see yellows. It's it's coming through that nice area of the 163 yeah. where it's all the sycamore trees. Sycamore. So how many how many species of trees do we have in San Diego where you could actually see fall colors? Because if I was going to be landscaping, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say, Tiger, I, wa I want some of those in my yard. It's 73. 73, see? <laughs> well, you got the sycamore, which is a California native. Um, I don't particularly find that to be a pretty tree. In the Midwest, it's a pretty tree because it's deep green. They get large. Um, they grow in the Midwest, right? Yeah. They're different species. It's different species. Different we species use, of a sycamore, right? Yeah, they all grow here, but we usually have California sycamores. Right. We're back east, they have the London plane tree. Right. Different. Uh, so people that are listening and we talk about sycamore, it's usually not the same looking tree. And so that's why I say they don't always look as pretty here. Um, we have the liquid amber. Um, I forget the common name for liquid amber. I just know it is liquid amber. Sweet gum. Sweet gum. Mm -hmm. And that one changes colors in the fall. You got... Different varieties actually have different colors too. Mm. Um, you can you can buy one called Festival, which is a combination of the yellows and reds and oranges. Um, there's Burgundy, which just goes red, so from green to That'd red, be nice. and then falls off. Um, there's also one that's just yellow and green. I can't remember the name on that one. I think that's just the standard liquid amber. Um, that's a good one. And then let's see. Um, kind of fall colorish is our red buds. So red bud trees, the mm -hmm. Circus. Um, there's a red foliaged one, which goes from red foliage to kind of a yellowy or um, brown. Green one goes from green to yellow to brown as well. So I don't know. I think ginkgos. Ginkgos turn a nice golden yellow. About, a dozen, about nice, a dozen varieties, give or take. Yeah. Common varieties, like John's mentioned, there's a lot, but but like you're saying, ones that you actually notice. We actually know it exactly. Yeah. In October, you actually see it happen. And I would say the most common is probably liquid amber. A little more common a little further north, but Chinese pistache are really pretty in the fall. They turn a just a brilliant red mm. color. Kathy mentioned Japanese maple, and that will do um, a fall transition as well. But Southern California, they change in uh, <laughs> june yeah right yeah. And they change from green to brown <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> and then drop their leaves so in, a funny note on the japanese maple for those of you that live in southern california and want to grow them one of the hardest things with that is the salts in our water so if you if you can combat that with rainwater if you have a rain harvesting exactly. tank a barrel or something yeah. like that and use that to water your japanese maple you'll get a much better looking japanese maple through the whole year, then is then they if they don't like acidic, they don't like acidic, do they? You know, there's just so many chemicals in our water. No, they actually prefer acidic. Do they do yeah. on the on the scale more acidic than? Uh, yeah. Okay. And our soils are at real alkaline. Alkaline, yeah. Okay. And and again, there's just so many chemicals in our water that 
they don't like that. And so a lot of people will love a Japanese maple, and they do grow here, but they don't look good, as John mentioned, yeah. because I think a lot of it comes to we use our city water to water them, and they don't like that. Yeah, you know, you want to find out how much uh, uh, chemicals are in your water. Just uh, start an aquarium and, and <laughs> clean that after about a week, and you'll see all the calcified deposits and things you have to scrape off. And that's what you're – we're putting in our system if you drink tap water, and that's what your plants are getting if you water from the hose. Yeah, yeah. So, huh. Another, what already? Already, just like that. It oh my is gosh! Break I think time. I, I think I took up all the talking that time. So hopefully, uh, if you take your mouse and put it toward the right hand side of the page here on Facebook Live, real slow, top right hand side, that little purple dot shows up, and you can uh, take part in our poll. Where do you want to go? Do you want to go to Ireland, Southern uh, Italy, uh, South Africa? And uh, what else did I leave out? New Zealand. New, New Zealand. Zealand. There you go. Okay, Tiger, Brian, John, taking a break. Coming right back. Biz Talk Radio is now available on Amazon Echo. Just add the Biz Talk Radio skills and ask Alexa for the latest business news. You'll instantly get live relevant information from the best business source. Biz Talk Radio. Alexa, open Biz Talk Market Tips. Have you written a book and want to get it published? Then call Page Publishing at 800 557 6095 immediately. That's 800 557 6095. Page Publishing is looking for authors of all types of books. And unlike most publishers, Page Publishing will take the time to review each and every book submitted to them and give you their feedback if they like what they read they'll get your book into bookstores and for sale online at amazon the apple itunes store barnes and noble and other outlets they handle everything editing cover design copyright protection printing publicity and distribution so if you've written a novel children's book cookbook inspirational work poetry or a biography and want to get it published then you need to call page publishing and do it immediately call 800-557-6095 now for your free author submission kit again for your free author submission kit call 800-557-6095. That's 800-557-6095. Your road to fame and fortune could very well start with this simple phone call. Call Page Publishing at 800-557-6095 for your free author submission kit. Now you can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline tickets. Book a flight today to London, Paris, Madrid, or anywhere else you want to go. And pay a lot less guaranteed. Call the International Travel Department right now at low cost airlines. 800 217 5107. 800 217 5107. That's 800 217 5107. If you're 85 or younger, would you like peace of mind and comfort for your family? We're Final Expense Direct with an urgent message for you. The average funeral today costs over $8,000, but the most you'll get from government benefits is $255. How will your family pay the difference? We can help. Our senior plans start as low as just a dollar a day and pay up to $30,000 for a funeral and other final expenses. Peace of mind is easy. There's no medical exam. You'll have lifetime coverage, and your plan can't be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Call now for free information about our senior plans. Answer a few simple questions and receive approval right on the phone. Plus, call right now, and we'll give you a discount prescription card for free. Call 800-569-3414. That's 800-569-3414. Again, 800-569-3414. You love your car, and so does Car Checks. We're A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau and have been helping people avoid spending a fortune in costly car repair bills for almost 20 years. For about $2.5 a day, you get the peace of mind in knowing that your expensive repair bills may be covered by a vehicle protection plan. Think about if your air conditioner or the transmission goes out. That could cost you a few thousand dollars. Or you can get protected with car checks and pay only a standard deductible. For about two and a half dollars a day, you can make sure you don't get stuck with the bill for covered repairs. Keep your car in tip-top shape. For a completely free quote, call Car Checks now at 800-958-5207. 800-958-5207. That's 800-958-5207. Or visit GetProtected.com. 
That's GetProtected.com. It may have been a messy divorce that suddenly cut your income in half, but not your bills. It might have been an injury or illness or your boss just cutting back your hours. It doesn't really matter how you got in over your head. It only matters that you are and that we're here to help. If you've got over $10,000 in credit card debt and you can't ever see breaking free, then call Action Debt and do it now. Being in over your head is a vicious cycle. One day late, they charge you a late fee. Miss a payment, they double your rate. You just don't think it's fair and neither do we. This is not bankruptcy or just a simple rate reduction plan. We fight for you using our proven experience in the insider programs that credit card companies try to hide. If you owe at least $10,000 to the credit card companies, you owe it to yourself to call Action Debt at 800-384-7099. Just because you got in over your head doesn't mean you have to stay there forever. Call 800-384-7099 today and we can be on your side tomorrow. 800-384-7099. 800-384-7099. This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for business talk. Online at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. Happening is uh, Garden America right now. That's what's happening at 35 minutes after the hour. And we so appreciate you tuning in, being right there, supporting the show after all these years. Whether you're a new listener, new viewer, or been with us for a long time, we do want to thank you. You can reach us uh, toll-free at 855-424-9825 if you prefer a conversation. John at GardenAmerica.com or Facebook Live for those watching right now, or perhaps you've got us on in the background. Uh, take your mouse, scroll it to the top right-hand side of the page. You'll see a little purple dot show up there. You can take a poll as far as where you might want to go in 2020. We have a question from Lenore, one of our listeners, that asked about the Japanese maple issue that we're talking about. Turning colors? Yeah, turning colors. But she says, would bottled water help my small in-pot Japanese maple? Absolutely. Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I would well, say so. It's kind of expensive, you I think. Was, he's going to say an easier way is to take your tap water and just let it sit in a bucket for a day or two. and well, That won't get rid of the salts, though. It'll just get rid of the chlorine. The chlorine, but yeah. it'll kind of distill the water a little bit, take out some of the chemicals. Um, mm -hmm. Anything you don't think not... that'll be good enough, though? No, it, if anything, it makes the chemicals more concentrated because the water evaporates. Because, because it's sitting and that's what's left. Yeah. Yeah. It's like what, what floats to the top when you're done. Yeah, the, the solids that are dissolved in the water don't... Um, don't evaporate, but the gases. The gases do. Do. So, you know, if you've got water. little potted plants in your house, I, I think buying bottled water is great. You know, just if you want to keep it well, yeah, pure. You, yeah. And they do have, you can use uh, reverse osmosis water, mm -hmm. which sure. is good. Or if you've got a Brita water filter or something like that, that'll work. That would help. And if you use a little bit of um, acid fertilizer combined with gypsum. Gypsum will neutralize some of the salts. The acid fertilizer will help. But in Southern California, you're just going to be fighting it all the time. It's terrible. Lenore's, Lenore might actually have a better yeah. job or better um, go of it taking care of that plant in a container like she's talking about than here in the ground. Ah, yeah. But you know what's amazing yeah. is that in the spring they come out and they look beautiful. Well, and you know... When when I was up north in Stockton, California, uh -huh. which is eh, central California ish, they do wonderful up there. I mean, they get more rain than we do down here a little bit, but yeah. but they do wonderful up there. So it's you know yeah, a very a, small region that they don't. Yeah, it's a combination of the salts in the soil plus uh, the heat. Yeah, you know they just don't really like the heat. You know, Fallbrook is the avocado capital of the country. But if you drive through Fallbrook this time of year, every single avocado tree has burned leaves right. around the edges from the salt in the soil. Mm. Then we get the winter rains, washes the salt, so, mm -hmm. and then the new leaves come out in the spring, and they're, they're fine. You fine. know, it's, it's funny. If, if anybody's been through Fallbrook where they're growing avocados, it is amazing because they, they grow them on the sides of cliffs. <laughs> and and I'm like this is this is an orchard. This is somebody has to go and pick this. Somebody has to actually. You know, well, you know work, what I think they do is they areas. wait for an earthquake and it shakes the trees. <laughs> they just roll downhill. <laughs> you just pick them up just at the bottom. Just pick them up at the bottom. 
Now that's one of the one of the fruits that you have to put in a paper bag, right, John? When you pick them, they they ripen in a paper bag in a dark closet or something. Well, you could ripen them quicker that way, but you can just set out an avocado and you, it ripens. You don't want to ripen them quicker. They'll, you'll you'll miss the you'll yeah. miss it. And don't you don't you put an apple inside there with it? Banana. Banana. Yeah, the banana gives off gas, and that's yeah. supposed to ripen yeah. your fruit apple. quicker. Ethylene or whatever it is. Apples do too. Yeah. Oh, do okay. they? Yeah. Oh yeah, apples more so. Oh, I thought bananas were the most. Banana will work, but usually I think put apples. apples with your bananas, <laughs> and then they're just gone to get them. Hey, so there's some comments going on on our Facebook Live that Dana had mentioned that she couldn't vote on her iPad. But then Tony Pepper wrote that on a mobile device, tap on the circle directly to the right of the comments window. Um, and that's the way you can vote if you're trying to vote for where you would like to go right. in 2020. So, Tony, if you want to go with us, Tony's a world traveler. Uh, Tony, why don't you take that poll as well? South Africa, Southern Italy, Ireland, or New Zealand? Yeah. I think Tony's been... Uh, All those places? Uh, he's been in New Zealand. He likes to dive. He's a diver. Nice. So, there you go. Uh, oh, you know, one of the things Kathy had mentioned regarding water, and this goes for water with everyone, is when they have private water, when they have wells. Because she had mentioned she's in rural Northern California with private water. When you have a well... You know, that well water is different during different times of the year. year. Yeah. So during the, you know, after the winter when you've gotten some rain, the well water is usually really good. Um, you know, it depends on your water table, but, you know, it's salt, good water. As that well level drops, and as John just mentioned, the, the, the things in the water become concentrated as it sits over time mm -hmm. and settles and, you know, becomes more concentrated. In the summer, you can have more minerals you can have more salts in that well water that you kind mm -hmm. of got to be careful of as you water in the summertime so there you go john anything at uh john at gardenamerica.com we should know of no oh well i remember one time back in the old days when your gmail or your uh garden america account was just burning up yeah, we try to discourage that, <laughs> especially now that we have Facebook and you can come in. Yeah, right there on Facebook there. Live. Hey, to give an update on our poll, though, it's almost even across the board now. Wait a second, really? Yeah. Italy has percent Ireland has 31%, and New Zealand has 31%. Mm. And Dang. South Africa South Africa <laughs> still zero. zero. I think <laughs> Nobody get... even felt sorry for it. Okay, we're not going to South Africa. <laughs> I think we've just eliminated one of our possible destinations. <laughs> you think? <laughs> okay, so 38% Southern Italy, 31% Ireland, 31% New Zealand. Okay, oh. all right. Wow, this is actually a weird. I, you know what? Whatever you decide, we're good with it. <laughs> right? Yeah. Now, if it comes out equal, we have to go to all three. <laughs> That's, uh, oh, do a coin tough. flip. I'd be exhausted. Well, maybe we could each take a different place. <laughs> oh, yes, we get three Split. different. I go to Italy, Tiger goes to... New Zealand. Zealand, you go to Ireland. I'll go to Ireland. Yeah. There you go. So uh, that's how uh, that's how you do that. That is on our Facebook page right now. And again, uh, for the mobile device users, just take uh, Tony Pepper's suggestion. You know, we were when we were talking earlier, Tiger, about the trees that change color in the fall and people planting those. Uh, back in cold countries, you know, where it where it. Um, Really does well, like Colorado, it's, it's you know, they had snow two weeks yeah. ago. They don't have evergreen trees unless you unless it's a conifer. Mm -hmm. But there's no trees, broadleaf trees that are evergreen. No podocarpus, no. Yeah, no, no uh, ficus trees. <laughs> no. And, you know, we and magnolias, no. things like that. Uh, oaks are all deciduous, yeah. Yeah, 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 no evergreen oaks. oaks. So... So we have a big choice there, too, where our mm -hmm. leaves don't. That's why we don't see as big a color change here is because right. a lot of our trees are evergreen. evergreen. Where there, it's either a conifer or a deciduous tree. That's that's it. And speaking of, of trees, for those of you that are going to be tuning in with us next weekend, um, our guest next weekend is going to be Dr. Rowden with the Audubon Society. And we had had Dr. Rowden on before uh, to discuss birds and you, the Audubon Society, and you know, I'm sure we're going to talk about tree selection and sure. trees that are benefiting the bird population. Uh, what people have to consider when trimming trees and things like that. So, hey, Terry's got a weekend. question on uh, Facebook, Tiger. What's it say? 
Let's see. You know what? A little awkward for me to turn around here. Okay. I got uh, it. She says, I'm back. Uh, go ahead. Bromeliad person in Alexandria, Virginia. The huge flower in one of my plants is drying out. What happens next? Another flower, or is it going to die? Boy, or is this one going to die? I, we need to know what's going on. No. No. It's we, the, it's we know. the end. Yeah. That's it, huh? So, it's no, like, no, it's not the end of the plant. So, you know, Terry, your bromeliad, the flower is the just like any other flower, and it's, it's, it's spent and it's done, but it will rebloom. Um, but not from that gonna, main plant. That main plant withers away, and they're called pups. Smaller plants will come from the side. Sometimes people call them suckers, but pups is the usual term. And those will end up reblooming. But the one she's talking about withers away. The, well, the central one, but don't don't cut that off or anything. Just leave it until it turns completely brown because okay. it can still photosynthesize and produce food for those new plants that are coming up. And the foliage of that, you know, you don't you don't just kind of toss that even after the fact because that foliage of that old flower spike area that sticks around for a very long time. It's nowhere near done compared to what you know the rest of the plant will do as john mentioned you'll get pups it'll regrow you'll get a new flower spike everything will be good and then that that foliage will eventually fade away and die off itself but you you by no means have to trim it off or cut it off or anything of that nature it'll do it's it'll do it itself they're really amazing right these are very quick segments we have one more segment till we say uh bye bye to this show for this uh, saturday morning saturday afternoon depending upon where you are at 855-424-9825. Want to give us a call, Facebook Live. And also, John at GardenAmerica.com. Continue to take that poll, which is on our Facebook page. I'm Brian Main, Tiger Palafox, John Begnasco. Thank you for joining us. We're going to step aside. We are coming right back. Want a better looking lawn with less effort? Husqvarna's robotic automower is the effortless way to mow. Husqvarna's intelligent design allows the automower to maneuver around your lawn without supervision, even over tricky terrain and around obstacles. It knows when it needs to be charged and directs itself back to the charging dock. With convenient control options, the Husqvarna allows you to set it and forget it, even from your smartphone. Thanks to Husqvarna, you can have a great looking lawn and more time to enjoy it this season. Visit Mission Hills Nursery at 1525 Fort Stockton Drive in San Diego or go to missionhillsnursery.com for more info. Having bug problems this season? Need an overall solution? Try Natural Guard Spinosad Soap. This combination of spinosad and fatty acids kills aphids, mealybugs, worms, caterpillars, and other bugs that plague your garden. It's also safe to use around your fruit and veggies to make sure you enjoy your crop and not those pesky critters. Find Natural Guard Spinosad Soap in a ready-to-use bottle or ready to spray for those large garden plots at your favorite independent garden center. Go to Fertilome.com for more information. Do you have an idea for an invention or new product? Do you think companies would be interested in your idea? Do you want to try to get a patent? Then call InventHelp now. InventHelp keeps your idea confidential and explains every step of the invention process. We create professional materials representing your idea and submit it to companies who are looking for new ideas. We have more than 9,000 companies who have agreed to review ideas in confidence. If a company shows interest in manufacturing your invention, we can negotiate on your behalf. We have helped over 10,000 clients receive patents. We also offer services including 3D models. to show InventHelp client ideas to additional companies. Join the thousands of people just like you who chose InventHelp to pursue their idea. We are experienced. We are working for you. We are InventHelp. Call us for free information at 1-800-607-8945. That's 1-800-607-8945. Again, 1-800-607-8945. As a small business owner, there's one word that you absolutely dread. Payroll. For small businesses, it's a big burden. You may think you're saving time and money doing it yourself. But come on, are you? Timesheets, processing checks, calculating taxes, a total waste of your time. Paychex simplifies payroll processing, saving you time and money. Submit your payroll online, fax it in, or call your dedicated Paychex payroll specialist. And you're done. Learn more at trypaychex.com. Come on, do the math. The IRS dishes out 8 million penalties a year. Make one mistake and you're on the hook. On average, you're losing nearly one business day every month doing payroll. That's time and money you'll never get back, unless you get paychecks. More than half a million small businesses already do. Call 877-649-5324. Trade payroll pressure for peace of mind. Call now.
877-649-5324. That's 877-649-5324. Do you have Medicare and do you use a CPAP machine? This is a national health care alert regarding your CPAP supplies. Using a clean CPAP mask and clean supplies is important to staying healthy. The best way to make sure your CPAP equipment is clean is to get new supplies. If you have Medicare, we have great news. Medicare will pay for you to have new clean supplies every 90 days. We'll even do all the paperwork for you to make sure that there's little to no out-of-pocket cost to you. And you don't even have to leave your home. We provide free in-home delivery. So if you're a CPAP user and you have Medicare, staying healthy with new CPAP equipment is easy. Just make this free phone call right now to get started. Call the CPAP hotline now. 800-525-8891. 800-525-8891. That's 800-525-8891. Copays and deductible supply. Supplies are replaced in accordance with Medicare guidelines. Does your water stain and damage your fixtures? Does it smell or taste bad? Are you worried about what's in your water? Water quality should not be painful and worrisome. Get HydroCare Water Systems from Wave Home Solutions with the most advanced purification technologies. Call Wave Home Solutions today at 1-888-989-WAVE or go to greathealthywater.com. HydroCare will eliminate lime scale that causes hundreds of dollars in damage to pipes and appliances without using salt. Well water will no longer smell or stain your fixtures. City water will be purified of harmful chlorine, lead, arsenic, and chemicals. Wave Home Solutions provides the cleanest, healthiest water at every faucet. Satisfaction guaranteed. For more information, call 1-888-989-WAVE, 1-888-989-WAVE, or go to greathealthywater.com. That's greathealthywater.com. Wave Home Solutions for a healthy, comfortable home. This is Biz Talk Radio, America's home for business talk. Online at biztalkradio.com. Welcome back to the Garden America Radio Show with Brian, John, and Tiger. The phone lines are open right now at 855-424-9825. That's 855-424-9825. Or john at gardenamerica.com. It is our final segment. We are here back on Facebook Live. And also, I uh, want to remind those who are listening or streaming via BizTalk Radio, living in the Southern California area. First hour heard live here in San Diego, AM 1240, and then the replay up in Los Angeles and most of Southern California on AM 740. And, of course, uh, thanks to the good folks at uh, BizTalk Radio. Uh, this is where the program originates, and it goes out from there. So thank you, the good folks. So we do appreciate it. Yeah, and, and we thank Zach for doing a good job this morning. Yeah, everything's been going really smoothly and nice, and Facebook feed has been going. We've got our poll running where, where we want to take the trip in 2020. we got the Rose Auction happening tomorrow. Wow. We've got the fall sale happening at the nursery. Right, that's uh, Mission Hills Nursery. We've got just wonderful, wonderful stuff. You know, you know, a lot happening. Fall is a great time. I love year. it. I love it when yeah. it Unlike most people, I like it when it gets dark early. Only problem is you do get tired earlier because you think it's 10 o'clock and it's only 7.30. <laughs> and you always go to bed at 8. I'm, I'm a 9 o'clock guy. Are you? 9 o'clock guy. You, I get up at 4. I was working up in Lake Elsinore area this week, and it was hot up there. It was in the I high can, 80s. I can imagine. It was in the high 80s, maybe into the 90s. And I've never noticed the phenomenon that, not phenomenon, but the, the idea that we had mentioned before, and John specifically, that even when it gets hot this time of year, plants don't require as much water as in the summertime because there's less daylight hours. And we had planted a new landscape up there, and it was hot, and we watered it when we planted it. I had to go back the next day expecting to have to water it again. And I had sure, planted because of ten, the heat. Yeah, tender plants like ajuga, some um, convolvulus. Um, what else was I expecting? The daylilies, I was expecting to see some wilting going on because it was hot. Everything was fine the next day. And it was in the next day, it was into the Le- less sunlight and, and maybe more shadows. Yeah. Depending yeah, upon just where... shorter days. Is yeah. What yeah. Does it. I mean, there's just not as much time for the sun to take away that water. Right. So, re- you know, really cut back on the water, even if it's in a warm area. Because the other thing that I notice happening this time of year is people are overwatering their landscape. So a lot of plants are starting to rot out, die because of overwatering as well. All right. Any questions from any of our sources? 
Yes. Okay. Uh, I have Is that to... the one from Michelle? Hmm? No. No? Me? I have to reload, though, so I'm... So it's, uh, uh, hi, Guy. This is Michelle from Reading. I have a question about mini eggplants. I grew two mini eggplants from seed from a plant that grew in my outdoor vegetable garden last spring. The original plant was one I purchased from Home Depot, and I saved the seedling after the original plant died out last winter. Can you grow them successfully inside? I have a big pot I can put them in, but no, they need plenty of sun. You're not going to be really successful with fruiting eggplants indoors, but if you wanted to keep the plant indoors over the winter, if you put it out during the day and then bring it in uh, in the evening if you're going to have a frost, uh, that would be the way to get it through the winter, and then you'd get your fruit uh, as soon as you could plant it outside or move the pot outside in the spring. That's some eggplant dedication right there <laughs> if you're going to do that. Eggplant dedication. Well, it's yeah. a mini eggplant. Yeah. So uh, I wonder if she's talking about a dwarf plant or small fruit because they have those. Have you seen the Thai eggplant? No. They're little round balls. Uh-huh. Almost like giant peas. I was going to say, you, you, you made the size of almost like a quarter. Yeah. Is that small? Yeah. <laughs> wow. How many of those do you have to eat? <laughs> well, they use... Do they, they pickle use them? them? What do they do with them? They use them in cooking, Thai cooking. Really? You ever eat Thai food? Yeah, but I don't think I've ever seen a small yeah. mini egg. I don't like ever that. eat Thai food, so I can't yeah. tell you. Terry had a follow-up question to her bromeliad question, and she says that it's getting large in the pot. Should she plant it in a larger pot to allow for the new pups to to um, develop and grow out? You know what? If you can take a picture of it, uh -huh. and just you can send it to. You can't post it on Facebook. You can't do that, right? But you can send it to me at John at America dot com. No, John at Garden America dot com. John at Garden America dot com. What yeah. did I say? America. You said John at America we're just, we're just America. Huh. John at Garden America dot com. We're making Amer We're making gardening great again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, just so that we know for sure. But in general, most bromeliads are epiphytes. Mm -hmm. They grow in trees. So they don't need, they don't have large root systems. Yeah. They, they don't just need, need a big host, pots. right, to, to yeah. survive. Yeah, so you just, you know, a small pot's not going to get too wet. It's not going to rot the plant. But some bromeliads are terrestrial, like the silver vase, the mm -hmm. Acmea fasciata. Uh, that might need a little bit bigger pot, especially since when the plant gets really big, it'll just fall over Right. if it's in too small a pot. And now, would the same principle happen with that, with bromeliads and some other plants, meaning if you gave it more room, it might focus on, you know, developing roots and not really grow? Or because, like you said, the no. terrestrial, they don't really care. Right. Yeah, they don't care. Okay. Just like an orchid. You know, if you yeah. put an orchid in a bigger pot, you don't get it. Doesn't a doesn't plant. matter. Yeah. It usually just rots and dies. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they're my orchids and they just get covered with mealybug. Yeah. I don't know how that happens inside sometimes. You know, inside so your weird. house. Yeah. You know, you know that you get bugs in your house sometimes. And but, it's just funny to me. But it just certain bugs you expect. That's not a bug I would expect. Yeah. I might, you know, I expect the gnats. Like you, you know. expect ants and cockroaches, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, I hope not. We had, a, we had a cockroach in Hawaii in our condo. So we first the second night we opened up the, the trash area and Dana said, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I go, <laughs> what? He goes, we got a big cockroach in there. I said, that's okay. When next, you know, the trash gets full, I'll tie it up and I'll throw it out. And uh, which I did. New trash, trash bag. He was still there. <laughs> so, so he obviously is living someplace under the cabinets yeah. and has found a very nice spot. Oh, I'm hey, sure. There's trash here. Why should yeah. I go anywhere? Yeah, it's a cockroach. He, you, could, you could saddle that sucker up and ride him. <laughs> I used to, my, I've known my wife for. 16, I think maybe going on 17 years. Now. I've known her for I've okay. known her for that long. Okay. Uh we've been married it's almost for half your life. over 10. I used to respond when I used to hear screaming, you know, coming from another room. Right. Now I just realize it's just a bug. Just a bug. <laughs> yeah. What about spiders? Oh like yeah, she hates all bugs. But it's funny because my daughter will love every bug. You know, you know the if if a person could capture on uh on a photo the expression on people's face when they walk into a 
to a to a spider's web. Oh, the the yeah. first instant when you when you you go crazy. You, boy, you freak out. You think you the spider's freak there? Freak out because that that's got to be great photography. If somebody could catch that. <laughs> All right. Well, the music says that we are out of time. Thank you so much. If you're in San Diego or coming into San Diego for the Rose Auction uh, tomorrow. Uh, even today, for that matter. We look forward to seeing you. I want to thank all the good folks at BizTalk Radio. I want to thank Zach for doing a good job, our director and studio coordinator. Tiger Palafox, John Begnasco, all of you listening and watching. Until next weekend, get Growing America. Take care and be safe. Listen on the go. Download.